Hello everyone, welcome to School of Dragons. Today we got a brand new titan and this time it is the Death Song, which is a dragon I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for and it's finally here. So let's first take a look at the Death Song as we remember. This is a regular old Death Song. We got the frills, the horns, the spikes, the teeth, the menacing eyes, everything we love about this dragon. And now we're gonna transform it into a titan. Are you guys ready for this? All right, here we go. There we have the Titan Death Song. And just at first glance, we are blown away by the appearance of this dragon. It is, it is incredibly detailed and really quite over the top in my opinion. We have these giant frills, the teeth has grown a little bit, we have a big horn on him, his eyes are absolutely crazy, and these wings are completely ginormous. His horns are longer as well on his head, on top of his head. He got some way more dense texture on him, his scales are overall way more detailed. We got longer spikes on his feet. We got these three extra ones sticking out of his calves. Even his arms has longer spikes on his fingers. Everything is just longer, bigger and way more prominent. His wings are completely mental. We have all these kind of... I don't even know what to call them, flaps, tentacles almost sticking out everywhere. We have a different pattern on his wings overall. They are colossal and they follow his body all the way down to the base of his tail. Really colossal wings we're dealing with here. We have long spikes on his back that are just sticking through his tail basically. We have some mild clipping here and we have some flaps on his tail as well. Several of them and they are very long and completely ginormous. We have spikes, we have this weird spiral almost kind of... I don't even I don't even flaps anymore. I don't know what to call that. I don't know how to describe that. It looks like something you would see on a tropical bird maybe. It's really really overkill with this dragon indeed. You look anywhere and you will be blown away by some detail that is way out of proportion. His tail is just this weapon of doom. We have these spikes going and even more of those weird kind of tail spikes that kind of looks like butterfly wings almost, a carving like that. And it's just really incredible to see all these confusing details almost, I think I'll describe them as that. Here we can see his texture close up. It's way more detailed and you can really see stripes on him, the different colors you can pick. It looks really good though that he got this update on his texture overall. Uh, but let's take him out for a flight and see how he moves in the air. So here we are in air with the Titan Death Song. It looks a lot better when the wings are stretched out like this. Still so many details. We have clipping on the frill on his head. His wings are going directly through it. It does not look good, let's just be honest. That's not very nice. It really breaks the illusion of this dragon. And the frills are just way too big. It's really just pretty much breaking the dragon. We can see here from the top when he's flying, it almost looks like the... I don't know what to say, it's like it's, it's his wings are connected to his body but not really being connected at all. Like the end of the wings here when he's flapping, you can see it looks like it's connected to his tail but it's not. There's like this uh, air between the skin and the wings and the tail so it looks really strange when he's flapping almost like the tail is stuck in the air. Like it's not very natural, the wings overall they're almost curling up like a piece of paper. It does not look realistic at all, so not really too happy about that. And then we have the clipping again when he is turning on the frill. A lot of clipping on this guy, which, which is too bad, because the overall design is really great. Uh, I think it's, it is a little bit overkill, but then again, it's the death song. It's this dragon that's inspired by a butterfly, by tropical birds like a peacock, and all these kind of weird creatures. Uh, that we see in the Amazon forest, like really bright colors, stuff like that. Uh, the diving looks alright on this guy, but still we have major clipping there on the frill again. It does not look good. The eyes glow in the dark, which is nice. There is ups and downs to this dragon. Um, overall, I would say it's definitely not one of my favorite titans because of these issues. We have more clipping here as he's slowing down. I'm not too fond of that. It looks really bad to say, to tell the truth pretty much, um, but 
you know, when he's standing still, he looks great. If I just saw this dragon just standing like a picture, I would, I would love it because it's the death song. It's supposed to be over the top. But then when he's in action, it's not executed very well. His amber shot is pretty much the same. It's a bit more explosive when it hits its target. Uh, so that's nice. He has a little bit of a firing animation, which is great to see. His mouth opens a little bit. Not too much power there, but I mean, I'll take it. It's better than having nothing at all. Uh, it almost looks like he's barking. It's pretty cute. Uh, so that's nice, at least to see that. Not too fond of the wings. Uh, I can deal with the spikes that are really oversized. His horns as well are alright. Um, but overall, I'm gonna say he's average. He's not my favorite, but he's definitely not the worst either. I think he's he's alright. The clipping is too bad. It's really a shame. Uh, but apart from that, he's he's good. He's, he's great. Um, the overall design I definitely like, but the animations and the execution overall, not so much. But I, I think it's alright. I would love to hear your guys' opinion of this guy though, so don't hesitate to leave a comment. What well, you have to say about him, do you like him, do you feel like me, are you excited to finally see the Titan Death Song, are you disappointed, are you pleased, anything you have to say, I will look forward to reading it. And thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. So long, Dragon Rider!